But what would you do as a, you know, as an alternative to the, you know, the Western medicine? Mm -hmm. uh, how do you help patients with that? And maybe go through, you know, also um, what happens physiologically in the body. Yeah, we'll start from PMS to menopause. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> so, what happens with menopause is, is that usually there's a, uh, a liver imbalance. Okay. And at, at that stage, the liver is in, uh, incapable of processing the hormones that go up and down. And as Whoa. a result, the excess metabolites become a burden to the system. So they feel don't feel good because your body's toxic. Your liver's unable to process all these hormones when they spike up and down so fast. You see, a lot of people don't know that, so the liver does that. And how, right. Okay. The liver detoxes these hormones or kind of more or less balances them out. But if, these, but if the hormones are so far out of whack that the liver cannot balance them, then you get bloating, PMS, and all these feelings. Cramps. Nausea, cramping, all these sensations. And basically what it just means is that your, your liver is not processing. I mean, sometimes that, you could say there's heart, heart, what we call heart blood associated with it, but 90% of the time it seems to be with PMS. It seems to be a liver imbalance, so okay. uh, so that's why it's important if you're if you're exercising, have a good diet, and all these things, you have enough fatty acids in your in your nutrition, uh, your thyroid's functioning, adrenal, adrenal adrenals are pretty good, right. and you don't really go through much of a PMS problem because your body's not your body never gets to the point where it's out of balance so much it can't correct itself. Okay. <clears throat> now, with in menopause, what happens is <clears throat> over time there's a loss of fluid. Increased urination occurs, mm -hmm. sweating occurs, and there's a loss of body fluid. So you can imagine if I took some water out of your car radiator, it's your car would run hot. It's yeah. so the same thing with your body. It's incapable of maintaining body temperature. So you get the hot flashes, rush of the hot flashes. We call it thyroid, thyroxins being released in Western medicine. In Eastern medicine, we just say it's an imbalance of fire and water. And we just means basically the blood is dehydrated. So, wow. so the idea is to add water to the blood. Now, if this persists long enough, what will happen is, is that the blood becomes affected, not only the, the amount of water, but the blood itself becomes affected. And the nutrition of the blood becomes affected. Then you get things like memory loss and right. uh, all these things that are associated with old age. Right, right. And they were, all, they really are associated, all they really are is the problem is the root problem is there's not enough water in the bloodstream because of the kidney starts to break down, decrease over the years. Mm. And uh, so what we do, then as a result, then the liver functions go down because there's not enough water to do detox. So now you get hypertension. High blood pressure. Right. So, and because and we were saying in Chinese medicine, the increased heat in the body pushes the blood faster, like a steam engine that raises the blood pressure. So the idea in Chinese medicine is to cool the blood, slow the blood circulation with herbal medicine, and and it, by doing that, you bring the blood pressure down. Wow, that's that's awesome. how we look at it. It's a, you know it's, yeah, it's different yeah. now. What we would do is the chemist would say, well, now that we study these herbs here that are used for menopause, we've discovered, well, yeah, there are certain herbs here that cause nitrous oxide to be released to increase, increase blood flow, decrease blood pressure. Wow. That's what the epimedium is used for. That, that'll do that. And the epimedium here, as I mentioned to you before, is being, will be used as a new uh, osteoporosis drug in Asia uh, where they will have, and because they can't afford our pharmaceuticals, right. and they can't afford extract of epimedium, and it has, it's just as effective or more effective than anything in the West. That's and amazing. So, you know, so we'll be probably buying from them in the future. But yeah, this is a typical combination, and what we can either use as, as a tea or as a powder. More, now let's talk about the teas. The reason you do is a tea. If you want something to really get in the system fast, and you want a lot of herb medicine all at once, the tea's the best. Okay. And, the, and what happens is, is the tea's already in and out of your system in about two hours, 50% of it is. So it works really fast and comes in and out of your body really fast. And if you want something to prolong the treatment, which is a little more milder, but over a long period, then we use the powders. Okay. So it's a powder is like a time release when it's ground up. Right, right. And this is more or less a fast uh, Okay. Approach. Yeah. Now, what else is in there? Is, is yeah, there's a, well, there's licorice in here. There's, a, there's a, uh, an herb called for your stomach. There's an old, an herb, a very famous herb called angelica, mm -hmm. which is very good for the blood. Wow. It has oils in it that are, are also help support the endocrine function, the female mm -hmm. hormones. <clears throat> there's a herb called anorana, which is right here, that cools the bowel. People that have this problem have heat in their whole system. They feel right. hot, they're thirsty. So when they have a bowel movement, there may be a burning sensation or, or a foul odor is associated with it because of the fermentation of the excess heat. Wow, wow. So this is designed to cool that down. Now there's there's uh, some other herbs in here to thin the blood a little bit so it moves quicker. Um, 
Now, this, this is a covenant. This is the covenant. It's called the Two Immortals. Okay. It's that famous. And, and and what this does is, like I say, it hydrates the blood and cools the system down. Is what is what needs to be done. And normally, for like a first uh, visit, about an hour for consultation, or forty-five minutes. We like it's nice to do an acupuncture treatment at least once. Okay. Just to know everything's working. Right. Right. Yeah, at least to some degree, one degree or another, energetically. So that basically the nervous system is functioning as optimally as possible. Okay. Because if that works, as you know, as a chiropractor, right, then everybody right. else will start to work. So the idea is to maybe do one or two, you know, do acupuncture to initiate the treatment. But in my my opinion, again, everybody has opinions. Right, right. But in my opinion, and my teacher's opinion, is that there's nothing works faster than the herbal medicines, especially if they're diagnosed right. And it's difficult to diagnose it right because there's a, there's a host of different, I mean, I could have gone through 20 different formulas for menopause. So you may have to make sure that everything matches. The tongue, for example, will be very red. Because you look at their tongue to diagnose. All the time, you have okay. to. So if somebody who has this condition, they look in the mirror, they have a red tongue with not too much coating, perhaps some cracks in it, showing they're dehydrated. But the tongue will have, or the body of the tongue will have a red, reddish color to it compared to a pink color, which mm. is normal. That means there's fire, heat in the system. That means something needs to be done, or else, this is what leads to cardiovascular uh, strokes and heart attacks if you don't address these kind of problems. The cause, right, because I mean most of the stuff that's out there is addressing symptoms. It's not really fixing it. No, nope, no. Nope. Well, yeah, again, in Western medicine, we don't relate to the idea of slowing the, the blood down, cooling the blood. It's a different way of looking at things. And really, it's a much more sophisticated way of looking at things. Right, because when you have a patient come in, they fill out a pretty in-depth intake form. Yes. It goes yes. through a variety. Do you sleep at night? For example, if you're not sleeping at night, this probably, that means that the, uh, the heat in your system is disturbing the fire organ, which is the heart, the emperor, yeah. we call it. If the emperor is upset, nobody, the, then nobody sleeps. Right, That's right. Okay. Right. Right. Excellent. Well, uh, I would say if any of your family members are having issues with PMS or menopause, it's worth it to come out and um, sit down, do a consultation with Dr. Peterson because he's helped hundreds, if not thousands, of patients um, you know, with these type of issues. Yeah, and this is, like I said, this is, uh, these formulas are old. They've been around at least 800 years, every one of these formulas. So they're time-proven, time-tested. And these herbs are not unusual herbs. These are herbs that we use in practice all the time. So this, Right, you know, so the side effects, exotic. right. There are, there, are, there are so few side effects with Chinese medicine. Go look on the web, see if you can right. find them. There are very few. I mean, compared to the amount of, of side effects in Western medicine, I mean, there's no it's incredible It's incredible commercials, yeah. Well, thanks a lot, and uh, give us a call um, and talk to Diana for scheduling to see Dr. Peterson. And thank you. And these herbs work quickly, so so if it don't, it's not a long drawn out process. The idea is just to match the formula to the patient, and uh, we have ways of doing that. Thanks for listening.